I'm here at the NSCA National Conference uh, here in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I've been asked to talk a little bit about how we use the shuttle. And uh, over the last 15 years, I've watched the evolution of the shuttle. Certainly, I have had a lot of experience in using it. I've always believed in it as a device for rehabilitation as well as performance enhancement. Some of the major features of the shuttle over the years have been the ability to control volume, intensity, and the types of resistance that are offered. I think uh, the versatility of that piece of equipment has been phenomenal. Uh, we can do any number of different exercises on it that stress any number of different muscle groups. And this allows us to work with a variety of patients and to get a maximum result from, the, from our efforts. I think also that uh, over the years I've seen the sophistication of the device become greater and greater. And now with the variable resistances that are offered with, with the different types of cords, uh, some of the accommodations that have been made in terms of the patient comfort, uh, as well as the uh, greater versatility and types of exercises that are available, uh, the shuttle becomes an even more valuable tool for the clinician. Uh, finally, I think that uh, when I look at that particular device, I see something that is extremely functional. And for the cost uh, feature, when you talk about today's healthcare market and you talk about cost containment, that particular device fits into the scheme of almost every facility. You can do any number of different exercises, as, as we've said, and uh, you can do the types of closed chain functional exercises, which are definitely uh, being looked at as the future for rehabilitation and the future of exercise. And so I think uh, all in all, it's a tremendous device and well worth considering.